Oh. She misused me past the endurance of a block. An oak with but one green leaf on it would have answered her. My very visor assumed life and began to scold with her. She told me, not thinking I had been myself, that I was the prince's jester, that I, that I was duller than a great thaw, huddling jest upon jest with such an impossible conveyance upon me that I stood like a man at a mark with an entire army shooting at me. She speaks poniards, and every word stabs. If her breath were as terrible as her terminations, there would be no living near her. She would infect to the North Star. I have been watching baseball non-stop since the day I heard you were coming to me. And at first, it was a chore. I understood nothing. I couldn't tell one player from another. And then I could. And it was this astonishment, this abundance. So much to learn, so much to memorize. When you're not playing now, I watch whoever is. When no one is playing, I watch tapes from 20 years ago. And when I'm out of tapes, I read books. I have been crying for two months. Oh, that's, that's a ridiculous, that's a disgusting thing to say. I, I hate people who tell you how they cried. Oh, I cried, it's so deep, I'm so meaningful. Bullshit. I know it's ludicrous. I'm telling you because it's ludicrous. But Darren, I never cry about anything. I only ever have about two feelings a year and all of a sudden I'm having memories. Playing catch with my dad? Going to games over summer vacation? They're not even my memories, but I'm having them. I don't get it. I don't get any of it. I don't get why I feel exalted when we win. I don't get why I feel diminished when we lose. I don't know why I'm saying we, but... Life is so tiny. So daily. Take me on. I know that it's a difficult time. I get that things are hard. But don't tell me you're flat. Be in agony, but don't be indifferent. 